We had lost quite a few due to overdose here on the island. Recently, up to last year, a young man passed from fentanyl, and uh, it made the whole island more or less come together because it was one of our own, and he was so young. Just to lose one young person is is uh, is a big deal. Like it's it's just it's just too many. One too many. Myself, I've overdosed three times that I know of, it may be more. And uh, it's a scary thing because you're not sure when you wake up, you don't know where you've been, what you've done, and you could have been dead. I'm four, four years clean now, going on my fifth. It's been a long road, but I'm, I'm a lot healthier. I feel better and uh, I can work with the people that need me now because I couldn't help them when I was their user. Together when we first started working uh, I was I was at my residence and uh, a friend of my daughter's uh, ran up come up with her father and uh, her boyfriend was overdosed so I had been trained in it so he come and got me and uh, went back to the residence where they were to and I went up and I assessed him and I just started going and uh, yeah it just it just flowed back to me. If they hadn't come and got me when they did, well, he would have, he would have passed on. But I got him back. When people come to the vigil tonight, uh, I hope they know that there is people here that can help. I hope they feel a little bit of uh, happiness for the people that they lost. It's going to be a warm feeling going around. A lot of people probably being a little upset, but still remembering their family and friends that have had died, just keep their names going. That's the big thing to me is you never want the fallen people to be forgotten.